Let's take a look at the empirical and the molecular formula for CH3COOH. This is acetic acid. Sometimes you'll see it written HC2H3O2. They're the same thing. So if we wrote the molecular formula, that's the number of each type of atom in the molecule. Let's do that first. So we have one, two carbons. So C2 hydrogens, we have this three here and then this one. So we have four hydrogens and then we have the one, two oxygens. So this is the molecular formula for acetic acid. So our molecular formula, that tells us each type of atom, how many we have of each type. The empirical formula, that's the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms. So we wanna get the ratio of the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. So we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. If we divided each one of these numbers by two, since two is the lowest common denominator, we'd have one, two, one. So one, two, one. We don't write the ones by convention though. That makes the empirical formula for acetic acid CH2O. So it's a simpler format. It doesn't have as much information. This tells us a lot more about the numbers of each type of atom. This is just the ratios. If we wanted to look at the structural formula, that would look like this. So the structural formula is based on the molecular formula. If we look at the structural formula, we have our two carbons, one, two. We have one, two, three, four hydrogens, and then two oxygens. So this shows us the way that the atoms are arranged. We could even reduce this down to a skeletal formula. That looks just like this here. So the carbons are right here. We have our two carbons. We don't write the hydrogens. So this is even a more reduced way to write it in a skeletal formula. You might note when we look at the structural formula, you can see why we have CH3COOH. We have CH3 right here, and then the carboxylic acid, COOH, that's right here. So this name helps us draw the structure. This is Dr. B with the empirical formula, molecular formula, then we have the structural formula for CH3COOH, acetic acid. Thanks for watching.